Hello and welcome back to another episode of Optics Trade Debates. I'm Masha. Hello, I'm Taylor. Today we'll talk about the important issue of those who wear glasses. This is which binoculars are perfect for, for those uh, users. Mm -hmm. So we have more than, I think, 30% of people wear more glasses. More than one third, yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. a prime example. <laughs> And uh, this is an important issue because not all binoculars are... Um, Equal in this regard, yeah. yeah. Um, we receive a lot of questions. Which binoculars should I choose if I wear glasses? Which are the yeah. easiest to, to, to use with glasses? And I will start with the first, I would say, attribute or parameter you have to look into in specification of any binoculars. And this is the eye relief. The eye relief is really, really important. Because when you have glasses, like myself, some of the eye relief is already gone because you're not yeah. able to push the binoculars close enough to your eye because yeah. there are glasses in the way. So you need a, a, at least 16 to 17 millimeters of eye relief if you wish to use the binoculars with glasses. Everything below this figure, it will be really yeah. uncomfortable, it will be really hard, you will not get the full image and so on. It won't be, it won't be enjoyable. Yeah. And then we come to the topic of eye cups. Yes, so we have two types of eye cups. We have um, twist up eye cups mm -hmm. and foldable like here. Um, so foldable are basically you fold them down. Mm -hmm. It's really hard yeah. and you can damage them. It's, yeah. it's a normal thing. Uh, and this position of eye cups is perfect, uh, is uh, suitable for those who wear glasses. But the problem with foldable eye cups is that they can, in in short, in longer periods of use, they can uh, rip. Yeah, yeah. On this on this edge here, if we do it, like, it's it's first of all, it's really yeah. hard to to put them in this position. But on this on this edge here, they usually wear and tear. Yeah. Here is where they fail. Yes. Um, and what's also common with this foldable um, eye cups that we found uh, we find them in one type of binoculars. Yeah, only in uh, poro yeah. prism. Uh, poro prism binoculars prism, usually yeah. have this. It's hard to understand why. Honestly speaking, yeah. there were poros with twist up eye cups. Mm -hmm. uh, they were produced by Minox, but they were discontinued. Okay. Uh, everybody else. Who produces poro prism binoculars uses this foldable eye cups and honestly speaking some of them are really hard to fold and they yeah. jump back by themselves immediately one product which is really known for this is the swarovski habicht mm -hmm. 7 by 42 ga, GA yeah. it, it you fold them down and they jump up immediately so that's a binocular majority of these binoculars are only for those who don't wear glasses yeah um I will point out one additional thing. Yeah. If you only have the optic compensation, you can use the binoculars without glasses. Mm -hmm. Because you can set adjust, the yeah. you can adjust the optic. But if you have uh, astigmatism, then you have to use the glasses yeah. with the binoculars and then everything what we talk now becomes really really important. But probably not all those who wear glasses can uh, can use the diopter adjustment because yeah. this is it goes only to yeah, minus, minus three, plus four, three. Yeah. Yeah. If you're already, if your eyes have a um, error which is bigger, yeah, there again, is. You, you have to use glasses. You have to use glasses. Uh, you talked about multiple position yeah. twist eye, eye cups. How many positions do they have? Uh, that depends on the binoculars. Normally, the cheaper models have uh, fewer mm -hmm. uh, positions. Uh, also, pocket binoculars and compact binoculars have fewer positions. The compact binoculars usually only have two. Yeah. Up and, and down. down. Yeah. And full-sized have multiple positions like this size Conquest. We have One, many. One, two, three. Yeah. I think That's three it. positions. Yeah. Four if you count the first one. Yeah. yeah. So um, you, you have opportunity to really um, get the eye cups to your... Yeah. To your uh, to get the perfect position. perfect yeah comfortable position. Mm -hmm. um, so, what are some configurations uh, which are perfect for those who wear glasses? Well, I would say I will start with those configurations which are really not good. Okay. And the first thing is usually the pocket binoculars 
are really problematic. So if the front lens is smaller than 28 millimeters, mm -hmm. you will usually have a really short eye relief, 10, 12, 13 millimeters. And if they have twist up uh, eye cups, they usually, they usually go only to two positions, yeah. up and down. This is, this is a configuration which is not really good for, for uh, everybody who wears glasses. The second, which is again usually a bit problematic, are the compact binoculars. Mm -hmm. That means from 30 to 38 30, millimeters yeah. of objective lens. Uh, you can easily see that compact binoculars are small, but they don't fit into any pocket like pocket binoculars do. Again, usually I relieve smaller than 60 millimeters and three positions of the of the eye cups are maximum. And then we come to the configurations which are a bit more suitable or which are really suitable. Full size binoculars, 8 by 42, 8 by 56. Mm -hmm. 8 by 56 are very low light binoculars, are really, really huge. And 10 by 50, 10 by 56. You probably noticed that I didn't mention 10 by 42. Yeah. I didn't mention 12 by 42 because those binoculars, the higher the magnification, the smaller the eye relief. Mm -hmm. So if you wear glasses, it is going to be easier to use 8 by 42 full size binoculars than it will be if you use 10 by 42 uh, full size binoculars. So, Masha, yeah. if we do a short summary at the end. Yeah, so. Basically, it co all comes down to eye relief and eye cups. Yeah, and if you wear glasses, just carry a little bit bigger binoculars if you compare yeah. like full size against compact because the viewing will be much more comfortable with the full size binoculars. Yeah. It will be heavier, it will take up more room, but far more comfortable to use with glasses than compact or pocket. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah. If you found this video useful, give us a like, subscribe to our YouTube channel and see you next time. Bye. Bye.